Hi guys, Squirrel here. This is World of Subways 3. The third one is set in London, a, uh, a place I'm very, very, very familiar with. Um, I've been on the London Underground just every day for like over 10 years at least. And uh, this is World of Subway 3. So World of Subway 4 is due out later this year, which I think is set in America and looks really cool. So I thought we'd go back to 3. Because uh, I've only ever streamed this, I never bothered to make any videos about it, but it's actually quite a decent game. It's a bit brutal in places, if you make a mistake when you're playing the missions, uh, it's just instantly game's over, you know, there's no there's no room for manoeuvre here. Um, but what I'm going to do, as you can see, they're, they're the scheduled stuff, and you can pick your own um, pick your own missions, pick the time, and you've got to stick to the schedule, that's pretty much how it works. But I'm going to do um, the missions today. Uh, the missions are 1 to 10. And you've got briefing, standby man, maintenance. It's basically scenarios. But it starts off with the basics. The briefing basically teaches you how to drive a tube train. And that's where we're going to start in this video. Okay, here we go. Drift Description 1 briefing. In this briefing, you'll learn how to drive a train and how to operate at stations. Instructor Danny will explain everything to you. Danny. Danny's a weird guy. Now, the first thing to note is you can kind of... Don't worry about the colours. The colours are very pasty and flattened out. It's a bit gloomy. It's very strange lighting in this game. You can see the sun up there. Okay, it's a cloudy day, but if you if I look down here, this is not your video. This is actually what the game looks like. Uh, I can mouse wheel in and I'll go first person, which is fine, except as you walk and particularly run, it's kind of a bit... <laughs> so, I find that when you're running, you're better off doing this just to keep a steady camera. But you'll already notice the absolute detail going on there because on the London Underground, it really is like this. It's stunningly detailed. Annoying options are you can't go left and right, you can't go backwards, you can only go forward. So you have to sort of run everywhere in this abnormal way. Anyway, let's go and see Danny. Ah, and Mr. Danny. Hello, I'm Danny, your instructor. And I've shaved my head. I'm not moving the camera, by the way. We will drive to Edgware Road without passengers, then we'll drive back. You should try and stick to the schedule. Okay, Danny. I'll try. My, honestly, this is not me moving my head. Right, there we go. Now I've got control. Get on the on the rear cab of the train, press C to switch to driver mode. Okay, so what you do is you kind of walk in here. And uh, he stands there. I think he may... Yeah, we can walk right through him. Okay. Uh, press C, we'll sit down. Take a look at the right console. That would be the right console. Hold the shift key and click on the console. So what happens is you press the shift key and you get the mouse like this and you move around and then you can click on things to zoom like that, you see. Switch on both tail lights. Now, I happen to know the tail lights. Switch on the tail lights, use both tail light switches, note that you have to hold the shift key. So tail light left, tail light right. Listen to the golf tee sound. <laughs> it just sounds like a golf tee, doesn't it? Right, leave the view mode, press the C key to leave driver mode, let's get out of here, and uh, off off we go. He'll probably shout at me and tell me to shut the door or something. Don't forget to close the door, there you go. Uh, click, there you go. No, no people, you cannot get on this train. Notice the, um, the models, and I don't mean the girls, I mean the models of the characters. How much better are they than certain other rail simulators? <laughs> dovetail games the detail is far superior now unfortunately Danny is um, he's a bit of a slow walker so I'm going to go on ahead you know you can see this poster quite a bit art magazine you got bins they tend not to exist so much on the underground these days due to terrorism threats it tends to be just a bin bag lying around and uh, while we wait for Danny should we jump on the what happen if we jump on the platform? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> How did I even manage that? That's impressive. Oh god. Um, sorry about that. I think we need to <laughs> let's get over the bridge. The good thing about this, unlike say something like train simulator, you can actually get out the train as well and walk around the platform, which is always funny. Right, so Danny's now made it. We don't need any salt. Let's go in here. Okay, Danny, what do you want me to do? Uh, I'm in the train. Should I shut the door? Whoa! It's 
a little bit buggy. Let's press C, there we go. Switch on the train. Switch on the train by operating the traction brake controller. Use the up key and shift or hold shift and do a normal mouse click. That's the traction brake controller. Okay, that's turned it on. Switch on the headlights, the destination light, dashboard and ventilation. That's over here. Uh, and that's the cab light. I'd really like to turn that on so I can see what I'm doing. Destination light. Golf tee. Dashboards. <laughs> Four. Headlights. Ooh, headlights. Look at the detail. And ventilation. Now switch on the cab lights. Could we Seriously, Danny, should we not have done that first? Because if you put the cab lights on, you can actually see what you're doing. I mean, it seems sensible. Uh, turn the switch to the right. Uh, that'll be that one. Uh, cab lights. Is that left? That's right. Don't forget to switch on the heating and passenger lights, which are over here, I think. Um, so that's good. Heating. Put the heating on. London Underground trains are always too hot. Like, even in summer or winter, they're always too hot. What else do we want to do? Uh, panel lights. Switch to some passenger lights. Brake test, done on that. Uh, passenger lights here. There we go. Close the doors and we're all set to go. Alright, let's do that then. Uh, is it F7? There we go. Set the selector switch to forward. Okay, now that is the selector switch. If you go and have a quick look, you can kind of make out that it says off, auto, forward, int, and then reverse. So he wants it in forward position. Which is like that. Now you can set the train in motion, and this is a tricky bit. Set the tractor control to the off and release position. Set the traction brake control to the off and release position. Use the up and down arrow keys or a left mouse button click. Wait till the brake pressure has risen. White pointer. This is the brake pressure here. Now, if you look, it says emergency, lap, rear stat, something else. Off and release, shunt series. Okay, he wants us to put it in the release position. So I'm going to click that until it's on release which I think is probably there ok now I'm going to press the tab key, that's the dead man switch so you need to press the tab key and hold it down there you go set the traction brake to 1 or 3, shunt serials or parallel, you accelerate or brake by using the up down keys, now what happens now is if you let go of that you can't go anywhere basically um, because that's a dead man switch and so it's called that because if you happen to have a heart attack your hand will probably come off that lever and then the train will stop but if you have a heart attack and collapse onto the switch then they've not kind of thought through that scenario but shunt takes kind of seems to take it um, let's just do it let's put it in shunt so that's in shunt now and then the next one is serial you see and then parallel uh, drive to Edgeware Road without passengers, look for red signals and speed restrictions, open the route monitor by using pneumatic pick pick up two. Cool. Uh, so I want to slow down like that. So I'll bring it back to shunt or whatever it was, series and parallel. So I'm on shunt, if I go up to series, watch my speed top left. You see I'm accelerating when I'm in series. If I go parallel, get maximum power. So I want to bring it back to shunt to, to keep my speed roughly. Next signals are red, which means I probably want to brake. Uh, uh. Now you can see the gap between us and the next train. It's it's pretty much nothing like a train simulator where they have gaps of like a mile, two miles. This is gaps of like 100 yards. But it's pretty cool, it's good fun. Are you alright there Danny? Yep. Top left says current speed, speed limit, and then next signal, and it tells you what the next signal's on, so I'm going to that's me pressing tab twice and then again put it on series and we start to pick up speed I'm holding tab down all the time what else can we do in here? oh yes press H so I love that um, is it X for wipers? there you go X does wipers L does a light with the golf tee noise hello everybody Hope you don't, um, you know, get suffer from 
flashing lights or anything like that. Notice we've got a red coming up. There's like a yellow here and then there's a red here which has just gone to green because basically that train in front of us is effectively throttling our speed. That's what's going on. Uh, now if I press 3, station monitor, and if I press 1 I get the time. But the time's also on the route monitor, so I don't really need it. I'm just going to accelerate. Where are we, by the way? Where are we? I can't even read the station name. I have to stop here, unfortunately. Is that okay, Danny? Mm hmm. Let's wait for this signal. Now, what you can do, you can press F7, right, and then press left control and look behind you, which is kind of cool. Hello! My name's Squirrel. What's your name? And this is my friend Danny. He's not very talkative. We're still on red light. Shepherd's Bush Market. So what you can do is you press the C key, for example. I'll be back in a second, Danny, don't worry. You can kind of run off. And uh, while it's still on red, we can come down here. I mean, you just can't do this in Train Simulator. It's just... It's just a genius. The ability to get out your train and run around. I love it. I wish you could do this in your truck. Never mind. Okay, let's get back in here. Whew. Sorry, Danny. I just needed uh, a bit of needed a bit of fresh air. You know, I'm kind of getting claustrophobic doing this train thing. Guy in shorts and sandals. Very classy, sir. Very classy. It's a good look. It suits you. It's a good look. Just just tell that to yourself every day. Yeah. Okay, he scares me. I'm going to get inside and shut the door. I don't like him. There's also this thing that we've not even touched at yet. Called the programming console. You can tell it where you are. For example... Um, well, I can't really use it yet. Uh, it's not working. Uh, you can program it. It's the auto-announcer thing. That's what it is. Come on, signal. What the hell? What are we waiting for? Let's have a look at the gauges while we wait. Okay, so there's a, a light test, which is that one. Brake test. Now, if you put it on a more hardcore mode, you have to do brake tests and stuff. Anyway, let's get back. We're on the move. Hold on, tab. Let's, let's pick up some speed, Danny. Notice the route motor disappeared because I got out of the train. I must admit, Danny, I'm, I'm very, very impressed by your balancing skills. I bet if I did an emergency stop, you wouldn't even flinch. Right, picking up speed now. Got a red signal up ahead at, at 900, but it's fine. Now the good thing about these tube trains is they, they hold the speed quite well. Like when I put it on shunt, it maintains that speed. So there's no messing around. With uh, like in train simulator where you're constantly fighting the, the throttle. It's a lot easier in the tube trains. Uh, now these here, I'm worried about 500. These here, these are the uh, open and closed left doors. And then my door as well, same on the right hand side. It's just kind of mirrored on the other side. What I don't like is, in the distance it's all blurred out, which is a bit of a graphical cheat, is what that is. It doesn't make sense to have it. It's just what they do to, to uh, smooth out the rough edges and, uh, and bad texturing that they've got. So, it's a bit unfortunate. But other than that, this is actually a pretty enjoyable game. And it's even more so enjoyable because, as I say, I've actually been on this route, I've been on this underground not been up here but I can tell you this is what it looks like and you can actually when you get off on the platform you can go inside the carriages and walk around and see the passengers it's, it's just such a brilliant thing to be able to do absolutely love it I can't remember what the plan is here I think we um, we get to Edgeworth Road and then I think he makes us turn it around or something like that Okay, we need to slow down. You can see quite simplistically how the lights work. You get a yellow, the next one's going to be a red. And you can see, look at the train, it's just like right in front of us, look at that. You could almost, well you probably could throw a bolt of that, look at it. It's amazingly close, it's just... 
cracks me up. Now, unfortunately, I can't get out and walk around here because I'll never get back in. Uh, but what we can do is kind of look at this panel. So that's the heating. So if we think the passengers are getting a bit too warm, we could turn that off and do everybody a favour. The run back protection system. Operated reset fault. The run back protection system. These buttons don't work, wherever they are. Oh, we're on the move. And being a tube service as well, because, you know, unlike the train, you might only see a train, you know, every 15 miles or 20 miles or something. And this thing, you get to see tubes all the time because it's such a frequent service. The problem is, if I go too quickly, though, I'm going to keep catching that guy up. He's stopping at every platform and I'm not. So he's kind of... You can see how blurry it is now. Look at the train ahead. I'm not sure what engine this thing uses, what graphical engine it uses. Come on, dude. Ugh. He's moving. So, Danny. Tell me a joke, Danny. No? You don't know any jokes, Danny? Why are you moving? Have you got, like... Some weird disease. You can't stand still, Danny. You got me kind of worried now. You've not got a knife or anything, have you? Hmm. I don't like him. He doesn't say a word. Just stands there shaking. I think maybe he's had too much coffee or something. Did you have a lot of coffee, Danny? No? There's a destination board up there. You can set that as well, which is kind of cool. Don't know if you can... whatever that is. Mind the gap, please. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Okay. Be back in a second. I'm, I'm just a little bit... Hello! Well, hello. I say. My guy just looked left... Well, look, he's just... This is not me looking around, honestly. My guy is just looking around left to right randomly. No, no, I was talking to her first. What's in here? Can you sit down? Apparently not. Do we need to go yet? Are we on green? Oh crap. Sorry, coming through. Dude. Go, go somewhere. You're just blocking the view. You're blocking everybody from getting past. Um, I'm going to fall out of the train if I'm not careful. Shut the door. Let's go. I love that. I love the way you can get out and walk around. You can explore every platform, potentially. I mean, you can't really go anywhere. You can't leave the station or anything, but it's just the fact that you can. I'm not sure whether we're at... Oh, bring the details back again. Oh, I'm speeding. Naughty squirrel, I'm speeding. Because I was going downhill. I think we should be coming up on Edgeware Road soon. The other thing is, look at the tunnelling, look at the details. Now compare that with, say, Train Simulator. Look, you've got bits of rubbish, gravel, and the lighting is good, it's accurate. Not sure where we are right now, actually. Some graffiti. Danny, you need to get this place cleaned up. Through train, coming through. We are not stopping. This is a non stopping tube train. Out of service. Uh, I think Edgeworth's coming up now. It's opening up a bit. Oh, no, I think we go down into a tunnel. It gets really dark before we get to Edgeworth Road. Because that's the weird thing about this particular line. Is that it's not true of all underground lines, but some of them. Uh, are partially underground and some of them are overground. <clears throat> like the central line, for example, is um, about about half of it is underground and then the two left and right sections, east and west London, they're overground. So when you're in the central bit, you're always in a tunnel and then if you, once you get sort of east of Stratford, you kind of come back out again. Um, other lines are not always the same. I think the Victoria line never comes out of ground. It's always underground. Uh, this one is a mixture. This is under and overground. Wombling free. 
What does that do? Whistle. Danny! I like that button, Danny. He's not bothered. He's not even telling me off. Danny, are you okay, dude? Seriously. Can we set that? Dagenham East. Where are we going? Edgewar or something? Can we set this to Edgewar? Edgewar Road. Look at that. Danny! You didn't even tell me to do that, dude, and I've done it anyway. I'm a pro. I'm a pro, Danny. Don't even need teaching. Let's put my foot down. He's just not falling over at all, is he? It's just unbelievable. This is quite a built-up area here. Very suburban. Whistle. Whistle. Danny, we need to whistle. I don't know why, but we're whistling. I think we're about to go into the tunnel, that's why. Yeah! 25 mile hour speed limit. Which I noticed a bit too late. Oh god. Stop! Ooh. Wow, that was close. Look, lights. See? Realistic. Realistic lighting. Love it. I remember when I played this, I was on a stream once. I think it was back in January or something. I was playing this game. And... Um, I, pr I was getting right near the end of the of the whole thing, and we got right near the end, and I, rent I jumped a red light. I, I was confused by it. It was late, I was tired, and I was confused whether it actually was a red light for me or the track next to me, and it was for me. And uh, it, it literally, after driving for an hour and a half, we had tremendous fun. I'd almost completed the whole scenario, and I went through this red light, and it just popped up and went game over. That was it. It just went red light, game over. Clicked on it, boom, back to the menu. No save. No kind of report on how well you did, just, you failed, go away, have a nice day. It made me laugh, but despair at the same time. <laughs> and that's what I mean about the game, it's a little bit unforgiving. Well, you could argue if you, if you ran a red light in real life, you'd probably be sacked, or at the very least warned severely. It's dangerous, but, you know, it's a game, isn't it? And it's kind of nice to have some forgiving options, I think. Anyway, I digress. We're in the tunnel. I don't think we're far off edge one now. But yeah, look at look, just look on the left here. Look at this detail going on. It's very good modelling. And wait till you... If you ever watch footage of World of Subways 4... Wow. That's some serious... Honestly, that's taking things to a new level for trains and tube training. Um, wait to see what Dovetail come up with next year with Train Simulator, but... World of Subways 4, I think December this year, looks very, very impressive. Uh, apparently if you play World of Subways 2 though, you need to be able to speak German, otherwise you can't understand a word of what they say. Right, where are we going, Danny? Because I'm getting really scared now. Talk to me, Danny, talk to me. Is this Edgeware Road? Edgeware Road, we're here, Danny. Destination. Stop the train in the middle of the platform, he says. Where's the middle? I don't know where the middle is. This this the middle? I honestly don't know. No, maybe not. He doesn't like that. Let's go forward a bit. I love that. In the middle of the platform. Your very first mission. You know nothing about the game. Stop the train in the middle of the platform. Well, here do. Yay! Don't forget to switch everything off. Right, don't forget to switch off the tail lights. Gotcha, right. Tail lights, Danny. Let's do it. Tail lights? No. What do we need to do? Do we need to turn this off first? Let's turn that off. No. <laughs> Danny! I can't click anything. Switch off the headlights, destination board. Make your mind up. Okay. Destination, dashboard, headlights, off. Switch the tail lights on. Tail lights are on, Danny. Switch off the traction brake controller to emergency. I think that's on emergency. Now set the switch to off. I think that's on off. 
and select attraction to shut down. I did it, Danny. Congratulate me, sir. Okay, let's get to the other end. Don't forget to... What did he say? He said, don't forget. Oh, shut the door, probably. Yeah, shut the door. Out of the way, people. Driver coming through. Are we going to take passengers this time? Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the hell just... I'm locked on a train. I'm locked on a train. <laughs> How do we get off? Oh, my God. No. I'm supposed to be driving that train. What are you doing? I'm stuck. Hang on a minute. Can I get to the front? Where's the front? Is this my train? Oh, God. Um, can I get through here? Maybe I can get to the front of the train this way. It's put me in the train. I really hope this is mine. I'm completely locked inside my own train. Can I get... Can we get in this way? Danny, are you in here? Danny? Danny? No, I don't know. Is this my train? This is my train. <gasps> Danny, I'm get wait for me, Danny. I'm coming back. Oh my god. All I did was get on a train. I tell you what, what would happen if you, if the door shut with you on it? That's a bit scary. <laughs> right, Danny. Danny. You wouldn't believe the day out. Danny, where'd you go? Danny. Danny. Oh, let me sit down. Danny, you wouldn't believe the day I just had. Seriously, if I told you what just happened, you're not bothered, are you? Switch off the tail lights. Okay, Danny, don't care. Don't care, that's fine. How do I, stop locking out the... I want to shut the door. How do I shut the door? Open and close door. I'm trying, it's not letting me. Danny, I've put the wipers on. <laughs> Help! Right, okay, tail lights. Let's do it your way then. Don't need to care about me. Switch the train on by operating the traction brake. We know how to do that. Turn the wipers off. We don't need that. Switch on the headlight. You're making me do this in a very, very particular order, Danny. I want to put the cab lights on, for God's sake. Passenger lights and heating. Heating. Passenger lights. Keep in mind the passenger at the destination. Use the crank handle to select the circle line via old gate. Circle line via old gate. You will now drive part of the schedule. Start programming the automatic announcements. Okay. Look for the digitized voice announcer on the left above the driver's seat. To program the announcements, click on the program key. Program. Use 2 and 8 to select circle line in a rail and confirm with NT. If you've selected the wrong route, you can use cancel to go back. Circle line in a rail. Circle line in a rail. Uh, press enter. Select Edgeware Road brackets Hammersmith as the departing station and confirm with enter. Edgeware Road brackets Hammersmith. Okay, press enter. Now select Hammersmith as the arrival station. Confirm with enter. Press enter to finalize programming. Yay! Ready to go, let the passengers enter the train. Open the doors by using the Taste F6 key. Or by clicking on the door opener. The Taste F6 key. Hang on. Open right doors. Is that done it? Yay! We've got passengers! It's okay. Close the door. If it's okay, close the doors. Okay. Uh, close right doors. How do we... How do we close my door? Drive door. There we go. Drive your schedule to Hammersmith by using... Oh, here we go. Okay, Danny, I'm trying. I need to put this on. Uh, I'm trying, Danny. What does this need to be on? Forward? Probably forward. Okay, let's do it. Let's press number two. The brake pressure's coming up, you see it? And then the train starts to move. Whee! We've got passengers and everything, Danny. This is so cool. God, he's the most depressing bloke I've ever been in a cab with. 
You don't bring this guy to a party. We're in a tunnel. Can't be 40. It's 25. It's 40. It's 25. It's 40. What is the speed limit? It keeps going between 25 and 40. Danny! This place is weird, Danny. Have we got a cab light in here? I'd really like to be able to see what I'm doing. Isn't it over here? There we go, Danny. That's better. So much better with the lights on. That's what they all say, Danny. I'm beginning to feel like that guy on, um, on Lost. Not on Lost. The one where he's on an island, he starts talking to a coconut that he's painted a face on. That's basically Danny. He's like a coconut with a face painted on. He doesn't say anything, but he keeps you company. <laughs> I don't want the driver schedule down one and three. We don't need to see all that rubbish. I've got the time. Well, station monitor is useful. Start Edgeware Road, Gold Hammersmith. Depart 621. Arrive 637. Wow, this is not even a stopping train. Actually, we better get a move on. If I've got to keep to a schedule, I'm going to max out my speed. 19 meters to a green light. It's all green, Danny. It's all green. I take it we're stopping here? Drive your schedule to Hammersmith. I really do... Okay, we're going to stop here. Current station. Let's stop here. I think we're meant to. Danny, we're meant to stop here? I'm sure we are. Let's stop here, Danny. F6, open the doors. Now on the underground, they normally have a mirror outside that you can see. When do we leave? Depart 621. Do we leave now? Okay, let's just go. Departure schedule 623. Current time 645. Danny, what the hell's going on? I'm confused. <laughs> Station monitor. 621 departure. Arrival 637. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not really sure what schedule we're on. We're probably it's probably gonna kill the game on us in a minute. It's probably gonna say, you failed, you muppet. I'm alright driving the train, but this schedule thing's confusing me a little bit. Is this a station? Royal Oak. It's already 646. We're supposed to be there. The schedule's completely gone to pot. Never mind. We'll just basically stop at every station and to hell with the schedule. I think we've broken it. This is Royal Oak. How am I doing, Danny? This is a line train. I'm stressing out, Danny. Yeah, I've had long enough to get on my train. <laughs> yeah, we should be in Hammersmith. Uh, yeah, Hammersmith by now. A long time ago. It's a, well, the, the pity is it's got no external cameras. You know, like Train Simulator, you can just go external and you can see the passengers getting on board. It's kind of missing that bit. Or at the very least, that mirror on the side of the platform. Because the only other option is I have to press F8 to open up my door, then press right control to look outside every time. Can you just. No, you can't. I'm pretty certain you can't just press right control without opening the window, opening your door. This is basically. 
of this announcement thing? This is basically the reverse of the journey, isn't it? I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to uh, stop this train than train simulator train. Mind the gap, please. So some of the platforms in London, uh, just because of the way they're constructed, they'll have a gap. Uh, is it F5? The left one? So I can't press left control, I'll have to press... Oh crikey. I've just done a very bad thing. I just opened both sets of doors, I think. Um, I don't know if my outer right doors are closed, Danny. Let's try pulling away. Yeah, if there's a gap between you and the, the platform the train, you get mind the gap, please. It happens at stations like Bank in London. Uh, but it doesn't just have to be a gap, it can be a vertical drop as well. Wrong button, Danny! You gotta have hands like a crab, you gotta have fingers all over the keys. The next station is Grove. Wow, that is a short stop, look at that! It's about 200 metres to the next station. What the heck's that about? People could walk that distance. Uh, left hand side. Doors left. F5. F7 for me. Left control. This is the only way I can see what's going on. Come on, get on quickly, people. I'm just going to shut the doors on you. There you go. Shut my door. Hold on, tab key. Max power. So I think the three options shunt, series, and parallel. Not exactly sure what shunt means, to be honest, uh, in this context. Series means take the power in in serial, parallel means take the power in parallel. So, in other words, you get a lot more acceleration out of parallel, more electricity. Because I think you must take both power lines in parallel as opposed to in series, so things go quicker. Shunt, I'm not, I'm not 100% what shunt means. Danny, these brakes are too good. Are you marking me on this? F5. Just think, when you do the mission stuff, you can set what the weather's like as well. Kind of fun doing it at night, or in rain. But I'm quite impressed with the visuals, I mean, graphic-wise, apart from that annoying blurring out, graphics-wise, it's half decent. Feels pretty realistic. Speed limit reached. How are we doing, Danny? Ooh, Wood Lane. Wood Lane for the central line. So Wood Lane is where the BBC is. Or was. Until they sold the building. Some of it's still there, but BBC TV Centre was at Wood Lane. Stop. So you get off here, you get the central line. Which is the red line. Circle line train to Hammersmith. Funnily enough, when I watched um, Hans Zimmer uh, last week, that's where we went to, Hammersmith. The Hammersmith Apollo. Or the event in Apollo, as it's called, but it's at Hammersmith Station. What does that say? Please fully deploy when train is stable to reduce soul again. <laughs> To reduce soul again, otherwise known as sunlight. There we go, and get some nice speed up down these open bits. It's not failed me yet, which means it's it's allowing me to be late. If I was speeding or jumping race signals, it would definitely fail me, but it's kind of allowing me to be a bit late. Whistle. Not sure why. Look at the way the buildings appear, look at that. 
as, he, as they come into view distance. What's the next station? These satellite dishes, is that supposed to be the BBC the with it? Ooh, Shepherd's Bush Market. See if we can get the braking right. I'm getting better, look at that. Not bad, not bad. Shepherd's Bush Market. Should we get some apples, Danny? Let's get some fruit or something. Is everybody out? I don't know. I'm not opening the door all the time. What a horrible seat. What's that? Oh, it's a, an illusion. I thought there was something spinning on the floor over there. We must be near the end now. Cold Hall Road. Is this in real distance? Because these stations are awfully close. Oh, red signal. We've actually got a red signal. No, it's gone to green. But that means there's a train up ahead. We're catching something up. This is Gold Hall Road. Come on, peeps. A lot more um, passengers than train simulator as well. Although they're not coming down here. They do do that in real life though. They don't spread out very well. We've got a yellow up ahead. And then a red signal. And then we're going downhill interestingly enough. Maybe that's Hammersmith down there. Ah, that looks like our starting station. So maybe we've just got to wait f for that train to come out. I can hear a train. I can hear a train down the side of us. I'm thinking, you see that train down there? I'm thinking that's going to come out. And as it comes out, change lane in front of us here and then we'll go into that station. That's what I'm thinking. It kind of reminds me of um, Epping Tube Station on the Central Line. Epping Tube Station's an end point like that, and it has two two platforms, Platform 1 and 2. And when you're a train coming in, you either go to Platform 1 or Platform 2, but quite often you'll sit here and wait for it to clear out first. But that tends to happen when there's two trains in the platforms, not one. Are you allowed to actually open the door at this point? I don't want to risk doing anything that's going to fail the whole the whole briefing, but at the same time, is there something you could do? You sort of stand up. We could probably go and have a, a quick peek. See, look, there's nobody in this. There's nobody in this one. Well, there's some passengers. Let's go and say hi. This is one thing they don't do. Come on, open. Now, you're not supposed to close. Stupid door. Well, I'm getting trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped in between two doors. Oh god, I'm stuck. Look as one door opens, another closes. What a metaphor. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I can't act. Oh, there we go. We're free. Hello, I'm your driver. You're probably wondering why I'm not down there driving right now. Are you? Are you wondering, sir? We're on a red signal. I just thought I'd come and tell you. Um, because I don't know what the intercom button is. So I thought I'd come and tell you that we're just waiting for a train to clear the platform. And uh, and also, can somebody fix this door because it's... Um, <laughs> it's somewhat problematic. Shall we say? <laughs> we can't get through <laughs> the graphics. Danny, can we go yet? We can go, Danny. Look, we can go. I just, I just wanted to go and tell them. Those people back there, I thought they should know what was going on, Danny. I'm hoping doing the right thing. 15 miles per hour. 
We missed the train going past, that's the only downside. But it has gone, so I'm pretty certain that's exactly what it did. Look, it says spe speed limit 40, and yet it's not, it's 15. I don't think we need our... Do we need all lights, Danny? I like the announcements, Danny. They're pretty good. Woo! We are, we're back where we started. That was fun. That was just the first mission. What's it gonna get like, Danny? Because, like, we've got another nine briefings to do. Are you with me all the way, or...? Is it just this one? You're not very chatty, though, are you? Really. You don't look very happy, either, if I'm honest. Do you wanna go for a beer, Danny? No, forget it. Forget it. Just gonna park up here. I'd rather drink a beer on my own, I think. There we go. This is Turn the light off. This train terminates. All change, please. Yep, all change. All change, Danny. I don't think there's nothing down here. Is this? Oh, cool! What's over here? Hey, where's that? Where are you coming from? I can't go down. You're spawning behind a brick wall. Let's look at the detail here. Look at this. It's this awesome. And you can physically walk around to the next platform. You look like a, a gang of thugs. I'm going to report you to the police. Hope you enjoyed your trip, people. Sorry for the delay. Um, Danny, what now? Because we're kind of here. What do, what do we do now, Danny? You're not giving me any instructions. Which kind of worries me somewhat. Should I just shut down anyway? Because... I don't think he's talking to me. I think I've, I think I might have upset him by not going for a beer or something. Oh, headlights. Ventilation. I'm just I'm closing up, Danny. Closing up shop. Perfect. You've completed your training. Yay! Congratulations. You've successfully completed the mission. Exit game. <laughs> exit game. Not even like a rating. Just exit game. Blimey. Well, there you go. So, um, that's mission one done. Next time we're going to do this, standby, standby man. You will be a standby man today. Take over the train at Mansion House and drive to schedule to Edgeware Road. Always make sure you set up your train correctly and always stick to the schedule. That's for the next video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was good fun. Um, can't wait for the next one. Give me a rating and uh, see you next time.